Sabatamali. He lived only 30 kilometers to Pandarpur. But not a single time he went to Pandarpur. Easy he could go. Every week if he want he could go. But no, he never went to Pandarpur. What Bhagwan did? Every moment of his life, whatever he was doing was vital. Each plant, he would say, ah, oh, vital, that is for you. In his garden, he would call it vital garden. Each vegetable he will take, it was vital. And there's this beautiful painting when he would take his vegetables to the market to sell, Vithal was lying down in his basket. So every moment was Vithal. There was a big discussion between Sant Dhyaneshwar and Namdev. So Namdev said, I am best devotee because Bhagwan come and eat with me every day. And uh, Sant Dhyaneshwar said, no. I am. Because we discuss and I write whatever we discuss. You know? So he sit and discuss with me. So Bhagavan was listening to them, discussing and said, forget it. You both are not. There is one which is even superior than both of you. So then they become very curious. Who is that one which is even more superior than us? We who, we who live continuously with you. He said, there is one. Then they will start pestering Vitella. He said, Vitella, please tell us, who is that one? So Bhagavan said, okay, catch me. If you can catch me, then I will tell you. So then Bhagavan start running. So he ran from Pandarpur to what the name of the Savatamali place? To where Savatamali was. So behind Bhagwan, he ran very fast, you know. And behind is Namdev and Sandhyanishra running. So arriving at uh, Savatamali, Bhagwan Krishna said to him, he see Vithal in front of him and Vithal said, listen, I don't have much time to explain things to you. There's two thieves running behind me. They want to steal everything from me. I need to hide. So Vasavatamali looked at him and started smiling. He said, Bhagavan, you are the Lord of the universe. Why will I hide you? Where is the place where you are not? You know, how can I hide you? I don't have anything, you know. So, no, 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 you have to hide me somewhere. So that time, moment, Savatamali thought, where would I hide the Lord of the universe? Eh? So, Savatamali said, took the sickle, he was lying down there, plucked it into his chest and opened the chest. And he opened it, just like Hanuman, you know, opened his chest to show <laughs> Sita Ram inside of his heart. Like that, Savatamali also opened and said, Lord, hide yourself inside of me. So Bhagavan went inside, he closed up, but he let his dhoti a little bit hanging outside. So meanwhile, Sandhyaneshwar and uh, Namdev arrived. So when Bhagwan was running, oh, each of his footprint left, left a mark of chandan, but smell, and also the smell of tulsi. So this is how they could find him. So he arrived there, the footprint is in front of Savatamali. They saw Savatamali in front of them, a gardener, you know, Dirty. He said, Have you seen Vithal? I said, But yes, Vithal is everywhere. Where Lord Krishna is not. He's present in everywhere. 
I said, yes, we know he is present everywhere, but did you see him personally coming, running to you? I said, well, he could not say anything, he kept quiet. So as they were looking around, they noticed his dhoti, a little piece of his uh, dhoti was hanging out and they said, because the dhoti is hanging out from his chest. I said, ah, he's hiding inside. So the Savatamali said, yes, he's hiding in my heart. And then they said, please let him out. Said, well, how can I tell him to come out from my heart? Then he asked Namdev and Sandhyanishwar, they understood, but their ego, in spite of being saint, in spite of being Ansh Avtar of Shihari, there was still that human side still present inside it. So then they asked by one Vita, please come out, we understand our lesson. So then they realized how great is Savatamali. How great is among the devotees also, you see. There's great. Among pearls you have one which is even more wonders, wonderful than anybody, uh, anything else. You know. So they realized that it's not them. They were still looking at Vitala, but the little pride was still there in them. They have to be completely humble, you know. But each moment, you see, it is only Vittal, you know, only Lord Krishna which is doing everything.